and welcome to Trending in the D, a weekly update on what's going on in Detroit. I'm Nicole Grant. Mayor Mike Duggan introduced the Detroit Neighborhood Business Directory, the latest initiative that will help neighborhood shops and restaurants. The directory is more than a list of local businesses. It serves as a celebration of the entrepreneurs who run them. This first edition includes more than 170 businesses and also profiles on almost half of them. The guide will be available for free at certain locations around the city and online at the city's website. The AFL-CIO Housing Investment Trust will invest up to $30 million in the Detroit Neighborhood Home Repair Program. This civic and community partnership will rejuvenate up to 300 single-family homes and blighted properties. Michigan Building Trades is an additional partner that will put union workers to work and provide training for Detroiters. Detroit's Delray neighborhood is undergoing a massive blight removal blitz as part of a commitment from Mayor Mike Duggan and Councilmember Raquel Castaneda Lopez. Work is already underway on the 33 homes that have been slated for demolition. The city will also be removing a significant amount of non-structural blight, including overgrown brush and scrub trees on existing vacant land. Mayor Mike Duggan says that Detroit is prepared to do our share when it comes to hosting Syrian refugees. Mayor Duggan says that Detroit has vacant houses available to accommodate refugees. Detroit residents can sign up to receive emergency alerts from the city of Detroit through the Nixle Emergency Alert Notification System. Residents can receive information about critical incidents such as severe weather, evacuation orders, and hazardous situations. To sign up for the free service, residents can simply text DETROIT to 888-777. Visit the Detroit Homeland Security and Emergency Management website, then click on Nixle Emergency Alerts, or visit the DHSCM Facebook page. Residents can tailor exactly what information they want to receive and how they want to receive it via text, email, or cell phone. Thanks for watching. Be sure to follow us on Twitter at DetroitCityGov and on Facebook, Detroit Government. For more information about what's trending in the D, visit www.detroitmi.gov forward slash Detroit Dashboard. That's it for Trending in the D. I'm Nicole Grant.